more intimate today I'm going to show you some of the calculations using the calculate menu in Casio's FX570 PX plastic calculator. I'm going to show the calculate button and the soft. Later on, say the, the OL button, RAC uh, button. This is the chain to polar coordinate. This is the chain to rectangular coordinates. First of all, okay, um, uh, press one to go into the calculate menu. Then okay, I'm going to show uh, the function of the calculate button is active for you to calculate the function scale, the function value, or calculate the function value which is uh, which is the iterative but it's not in the sequence. Uh, it's not I uh, mean the increment is not consistent. Okay, for example, you want to calculate the function of fx, which is x minus cos x or x equal to negative 3, 0, 2. Okay, if the increment is consistent, then you can use the table mode later on. So, you can key in the functions in your operator by using the variable a, b, c, d, e, f, x, y, and red color. In the variable red color, so you need to press the alpha button. Alpha minus cos alpha x. You calculate. If you want to calculate it for x equal to something negative 3. So here, this is in gradient. If your calculator is not in gradient, you can press shift no angle unit. We have degree gradient gradient. Okay, so smart is already in gradient. To be in degree, then you uh, press two to change it to uh, gradient. Okay, now I would like to calculate it for zero. So the answer is negative one. So calculate again for two. This is useful especially in numerical methods for repetitive calculation where the increment of x is not consistent. Because if consistent, then you can use table modes. Okay, uh, in here, um, in this calculate modes, you cannot plot the graph. If you plot the graph, at least you scan QR code. So, yellow color, you need to press shift button to shift option. There's no graph in the calculate of, uh, in the calculate menu. Okay. And then uh, if you want to see the graph of x minus cos x, you may go to menu, search for table menu. So in this table menu of this model, it allows you to tabulate the function, get two functions compared to previous ES model, only one function. So x minus cos alpha x. Let's see uh, Starting, I want starting with ending. Let's say I take it five step is one. So it calculate two function value. So if you use table mode to see the increment negative, the increment for this case is step side which is one. But here the increment is not consistent. That's why I need to use key and to use a calculate key, calculate uh, a loop compared to if you have a consistent increment, then you can use a table menu. Okay, this table menu will be useful as especially if you want to use the numerical integral. It in approximates the integral using the sophisoid rule, Simpson one third and Simpson three over x root. Okay, and here in the table okay, menu, you can plot graph but with press shift button. You 
this is the x of uh, gx, x squared plus 3, this is uh, x minus cos x. This two graph not intersection. It, let's say I would like to find the root of the x minus cos x, x minus cos x. Here, um, so you can change the just now we put negative 5 to 5, and let's say I would like to change it to negative 6 to 6. So you can change the negative 6 to 6. Okay, or, in your table, here table menu, that's how we end the I, right? When you equal, 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 it will automatically increase the tabulate value tools. Okay. Now, I'm going to solve these non-linear equations. This non-linear equation using the calculator. I go back to my menu. Uh, one, input the non-linear equation. I want to solve, right? Solve is on top of the calculate button. So you press shift solve. Okay, so what value you are going to input? See from the graph. Okay, this is a good thing the x intercept. X intercept. So it's 0 to 2. Uh, let's say I just input the initial okay, value x equal to 1. So it gives you 0 0.74. So roughly the 0 0.74. So, so the soft button let you solve the non-linear equation easily, quickly, but you need to input one initial condition. So how to get the initial condition? You need to get it from the you key in the function into your paper mode, scale paper mode to view the graph. Okay, after you okay view the graph, you can roughly locate where is the initial value that you can keep. Okay, the closer, okay, then you will solve it faster. So you can put it 0 and then put it 2, but you put it as a 4 and it takes a longer time to get to the roots. And then thirdly, I'm going to um, actually convert from rectangular or Cartesian coordinate to polar coordinates. For example, we have the x here is 3, y is 4, okay, this is 90 degree. We would like to find this r, okay, meaning we want to convert Cartesian coordinate 3, 4 to the okay, radius r here, okay, and what is the theta here. Go back to AC to clear the screen. So we want to convert from Cartesian coordinate to polar coordinate. Okay, so you see POL, POL, so it's on top of the plus. Uh, plus button, so you need to press yellow, uh, shift, plus. So you will convert k to polar coordinate, so input your x, y coordinate. So x is 3, okay, the comma is actually on top of the right parenthesis, so you press shift, right parenthesis, and then 4. So we'll see. So r is 5, as well as k, as well from Pythagoras theorem, 3, 4, you get 5, 3, okay. The square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared will get 5. Okay, this is the theta is in gradient. If you want to change it to degree, okay, shift menu, anchor unit. So this is in degree. In degree. Okay. And then the next case, we are going to convert from that, uh, polar go back to Cartesian coordinates. Next, another one. Set two. This is set two. If the theta is three, are occupied to three. Okay, now, okay, I would like to convert back. We have the R, which is set two. R is set two. The degree is occupied. So just now I put polar one one. Polar one one means. Okay, my x is 1, my y is 1, 1, 1. 
So my K R is at least set to 1.442 and the angle is 45. No, okay, I would like to reverse. Huh? If the R is set to theta is 45, we would like to convert it to rectangular coordinate. You get back your X and Y. So the R is C, the rectangular. Okay, minus to rectangle. Okay, to convert to rectangle, K is the R. Okay, the, my, okay, the R is set to. Okay, okay the uh, comma. Okay, right parentheses. And then the angle. Okay, because I already in degree mode, so I think okay, this is 45 degree. If you in radian mode, so you need to key in 5 over 4. So close the bracket. So you get back x1. Y is 1. So in this video, okay, I will click one more time. I have to show how to use a calculate button to tabulate the function value where the x it is not uh, increased uh, with the uniform increment. And then you can solve your non-linear equation using the soft button. Soft button, but you need to key in the initial, uh, initial point. To get the initial point A, initial point B it will be useful if you key in the functions into the table mode. Table mode. If I input K the function, okay, in this model you can input two functions. Okay, and you just need to put a starting value, ending value, and the increment, increment. To help you to view where is the good step so that you can key in okay, the initial point when you use a strip uh, the soft button in your calculator. Okay, and the third case okay, I show K okay, how to use a POL button is actually okay, to convert K okay, from rectangle, K okay, rectangular to polar coordinate. The REC is actually okay, from K okay, polar. We would like to convert to rectangular K okay, uh, coordinates. Okay, please click okay, thank you for your attention.